Hello everyone, it's Malino here. Previously in our video about Century, you guys left a very positive feedback, thank you all for that, it really means a lot. At the end of that video, there was a poll which asked what would you like to see next, and you guys voted for Minecraft. So today, we'll work on a Minecraft lamp. The idea is to have lamp in form of Minecraft ore. The lamp will change colors, different colors will represent different ores. For example, if the color will be red, you will see redstone. Green means emerald, blue equals diamonds, etc. If you try to think about it for a second, we can divide the lamp into several basic pieces. Light bulb, six ore walls, power source, and that's it. We can start with the project. I started by designing the ore wall in the blender. Fortunately this was very easy since Minecraft ore textures are very simple and easy to design just by using the rectangles. I've downloaded the texture from Google and simply remade it into 3D. Then I've printed the first wall to see how it will look. I took a cardboard and made the whole test cube to see if the walls combined fit the imagination. The cube walls are now smaller than we want in the end, but each wall takes time to print, so what I've decided that I'm going to do is I'm gonna first make the small version of our Minecraft lamp, where I'll try out different things, and in a couple of days my friend has a birthday, so I will give this first test lamp to him, and I think it will be a perfect gift for someone who likes to play Minecraft. <laughs> I've printed the remaining walls, but a simple light bulb that changes between a few colors glued all the walls together and in addition, to make the holes not empty in the ore, I've cut a small plastic pieces from the food containers, which are somewhat transparent and create a nice detail. This was a bit painful since I was in a hurry due to tight deadline and a lot of hot glue ended up on my hands, but after some time you'll get used to it. Our first alpha version of our Minecraft lab is done. You could also see this project much sooner if you follow me on Instagram. Now we have more time and we can work on a second, final, bigger version of our Minecraft lamp. While creating the first cube, I've learned a few things. First, that it would be best to have the wall support 3D printed as well instead of creating one later in the stage and a lot of time, energy and stability will be saved. So I redesigned it in the wall and added the pillar to each corner. I increased the size of the wall, which also increased the total print time, but it was worth it. The size is now exactly as we want. We can now paint and glue all the walls together. Walls are pretty much done. Next is the power source. I went online to find some people who sell cheap old lamps, so I could use its power source instead of buying a new one. I found this cool old looking lamp for just 5 euros which was a really good price and it's much cheaper than buying a new one. We will paint the bottom and destroy the top of it so we can attach the first two components to it.
Another good thing about this lamp is it has a really handy switch for turning it on and off. Beautiful. Next is RGB light bulb. It took a bit of time and energy to get this fully working because when I bought the first bulb I was trying to connect it to my Wi-Fi router for like 2 hours and it did not work. Nothing helped, I reconfigured the router couple of times, changed everything I found online, but nothing helped. Then I bought a LED from another brand which now works without any issues right from the beginning. Now we have all the parts ready and can connect them all together. Bang, our lamp is now finished. Here is the little showcase. Thanks for being here and watching this video till the end. Last time the winner of your votes was Minecraft, so the next project will be something either from Konosuba, CSGO and a new member TV show Vikings. Since Konosuba and CSGO are here from the last pool, I'll give you a little hint of what I would like to make from those two. The hint is following. Both of them explode and are dangerous. So it's up to you now which you'll choose, personally I'm happy to make any of those. If you like the video, you can leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment of what you would like to see next. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Bye bye!